Hey guys, this is Lorenzo. This week we have another epic boss, and her name is John, and she's Earth Element. And the weakness to Earth Element is Shadow. Also, I noticed that the Elite APC just changed this week, and these are the fighters that you can get. So the first two are ultra rares, and the bottom four are super rares. So let's start. The first thing we get is the danger message followed by my rewards from the last epic boss. So this week I got switch box which is a lightning element rare fighter and a rare key and also the 5 cash. As you can see in the yellow is the max stats when you do the 8 wave fusion. And the first thing I do is I go to the mission screen to accept the epic boss mission which is to defeat her 8 times. While the battle goes on, I'm just going to give you an update of what I've been up to lately. Some people have been asking me if I want to make videos for Criminal Legacy. That's an honor that you guys have asked for it, so I might consider it. I know that Reversal has been making a lot of videos for that, and it's been really awesome. I've been playing a few other games lately. Most people might also have heard of. One is Brave Frontier, Valkyra Crusade, the new Metal Slug defense game, and Angry Birds Epic. If any of those interest you, you know, leave a comment below and if there's enough popularity, I'll probably make some videos on those games. And also I've been upgrading a new party, which consists of Kimi and Keeler. Uh, Kimi is the super rare that has dual element with both water and earth, and Keeler is also dual element but he's a rare fighter. And he is and he is Earth and Shadow. I'm also thinking about a part three of the fusion system uh, where I show the dual element unlock. So I just used up all my energy, and I'm gonna show you some of the rewards that you can get from this epic boss. So for the damage leaderboard, you can earn Freya, a rare earth fighter, and she looks like a monk from Diablo 3. I used to have her, but I actually trained her away, so I don't really have her stats anymore. But she is weaker than Jack the Axe, which I haven't found any new ones lately. And I think her stats is very similar to Morgana, where you can find in the storage facility. For the uncommon fighter you get from the low tier reward this week, you get Citrine, and here's her stats. And you can also earn the 11 rare keys, 13 premium keys, and 3 training boost when you defeat the boss at level 60. This week we have Conrad's suggestion, and I really like the first point because that's one of the biggest complaints I have. We need more slots. The second one is pretty interesting if I understand it correctly, is having medals, which is equivalent to having a customized title for the different achievements that you have completed in the game. For example, earning a medal for unlocking a certain number of cards, or having a certain number of damage achieved, or even like participating in kind of a mob or group battle which is all really really great social elements to you know show your rank or status in the game and his last suggestion is pretty interesting where we can actually combine elements of different fighters to maybe create something different and of course we all need the ability to transfer accounts from one device to another and because we might upgrade to a new device from time to time thanks Conrad for your suggestion if you would like your suggestion to be featured in my next video, please leave a suggestion for the game below in the comments. And that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.